Robert can't be here today because yeah. uh, he wants to move away from the vampire franchise. <laughs> yeah. We both watched Hustler on the plane over here. Hustler. Mm, a little J-Lo. <laughs> we appreciate the little J-Lo. <laughs> nice, <hi. laughs> How's your guys dating going? Fantastic. Great. Are you wiped? No, no, no. No, it's fine. This yeah. is dreamy. You don't do stuff like this in the UK for TV shows. It's... No, no, no. No, no. God, no. Oh. Everyone's too embarrassed and polite. Well, and there's not enough money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, That's well, that the main helps. thing. The pause. <laughs> yeah. So cool. Thanks for coming by, guys. Thank Thanks you for um, having us. You are vampires. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Correct. Cool. Right now, too? Or, yeah. Oh, okay. correct. Great, yeah. great, great. Permanently. Permanently. Um, what's the best thing about being a vampire? I think the power of flight, the power of uh, superhuman strength, all of these things are very useful. Yeah. I love having lived for so many decades because you've got to see it all. And because you're a vampire and you're very, you know, magical, you get to go to all the best parties and meet the best people and have sex with everyone. That is good. And if there's a band that you like that were around before you were born, you can go and see their gigs. All things I never thought of. Cool. So you guys are coming out with a new season. What can we expect? Like, tease me. What do I have to look forward to? Well, we've just blown the biggest surprise in the... Um, in The panel. In the panel. Oh. Well, Jermaine blew it, so we're allowed, we're allowed to well, do what we want. Here. So uh, there's guest stars. There's one amazing guest star that I have... Um, an episode with Mark Hamill. Oh. He plays a vampire that's got a beef with me that has lasted hundreds of years. I would have been much more excited about Yoda, but... How often or how sick are you of hearing people yell bat at you out in public? Does it happen? Yeah, it does happen. Bat! It's like anything. I, I used to have... I, I, I used to be in a show called The IT Crowd years ago. And people used to shout father at me when I was in that. So it was just something new. I'm used to having people shout He's a real catchphrase things. comedian. That's you just said people shout at you. <laughs> well, it's not intentional. You well, no, it's not that. It's, there's nothing you can do about it. And it means that they've watched the show. So for the show itself, it's great. It's a positive thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Your clothes on the show are A, amazing, but B, look so hot. Like, are you guys always hot? No, we're not. No? no? <laughs> we're in Canada. Say it's, we're doing a scene in a room like this. Yeah. Just, out that, just outside that door, uh -huh. it'll be sort of minus 14. Oh. When we're outside, it's good. The, like, we did one scene that was so cold. Like, it was so cold. Yeah. You know, like, drinks were freezing. Oh, my God. And because we wear so many capes and skirts, I had, like, full-on, you know, like, explorer wear. You know, like... <laughs> survival gear yeah. underneath and like I had on they they got my cape and you know those heat pads yeah it was like lined oh. with heat pads and they wow. they puffed up so it looked like I had like a reptilian back so when you <laughs> it kept me warm have you gotten to keep any of your wardrobe and I wear don't it for like keep Halloween any of it. maybe no I wouldn't want to keep any no. of there's a lot that I would like to keep but I'm not allowed it has to go into storage for the sure. Well, no, it's nice because it means hopefully they think there's going to be another season. That's true. Perhaps. Yeah. Uh, when you guys aren't filming your long, cold, 16-hour days in the night, <laughs> what are you doing with your free time? In There in is no life. free yeah, time. No free time. Nothing. No. Sleeping, no, we've working. both been very lucky that we've got other other stuff alongside this show that keeps us busy when we're not doing this, and it's, it's great. We're very lucky. Yeah. If you did have free time, would you spend it either like watching other TV shows, movies, oh, music? Right. Like, what is your thing? No, I. Any of that? Books? Yeah, I read books. Um, watch Shark Attack videos? Sometimes, yeah. I don't watch sorry, much is that TV. A hobby of yours? No, no, it's just that I saw some, not people, but yeah, yeah. sharks attacking each other on boats and things. Oh. I saw that and was amazed. There was a bloke in uh, a kayak being pestered by a shark yeah. which was the most intense terrifying thing I think I've ever seen because he was filming it himself he was in a Ooh. kayak he's that far away from the sea obviously and there's a shark by his side commitment to the well, content like, I guess I'm gonna die anyway so I might as well film this yeah yeah I wow. do I what I like to binge a lot of tv shows like, like what are you watching I've started watching American Horror Story which I loved I love true crime I'm just like really basic like everyone show. else just Not basic. you the series you 
Season one or season two? Both. I watched season two. I collapsed time and watched the Me entire too. thing in half an I hour. I watched season two so fast. <laughs> I was violently in consuming that. It's a show on Netflix about a horrible sort of, um, su- su- what's he, seductor? So, like, yeah, he wants to find love, but he do- goes about it the wrong way, and then he right. ends up murdering. He has a cage that he keeps people, women just in. Just to get, yeah, there's a cage, like a plastic cage with air There's vents. a lot of murder, and there's a lot of... But he means well. SWAT he doesn't teams. mean to do it. No, he's a monster. We have yeah. to... There's, there were so many girls that responded to that in the wrong way, where they were like, we love him. I know. We want him to find love. And even the actor was yeah, like, no, was no, like, I'm a, a psychopath. And making I, excuses. <laughs> I kill, kill women. Mm. Why? What's wrong with the women that yeah. they, they want toxic oh, men? Yeah, I saw mention. Dracula, if that counts. Yeah, that counts. That was on over the new year for us. That was a BBC production. That was great. The first two episodes were, uh, you know, amazing. And we both watched Hustler on the plane over here. Hustlers. Mm, a little J-Lo. <laughs> we appreciate a little J-Lo. That. Nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys sit together on the plane and watch we it? We did. Yeah, Share, much, shared yeah. a computer. And we did yeah. We did that one, two, three press play thing so we could watch it at the same yeah. time. That's yeah. adorable. <laughs> That's so cute. In season one, um, the standout episode for me was like the trial. Like, yeah. All of the it's vampires, very exciting. obviously. Were you guys starstruck no. by anyone? Cause, no, because we weren't, we didn't film it at the same time. So who murdered the Baron? Um... They... It was I. I I killed him. You did it? Yes. It was I. I did it. Okay. Unlikely. Don't take offense, but you don't seem like someone who would be capable of killing a vampire. But I did it. I had to believe. Well, I did. From maybe a tougher looking guy, I'd believe it, but... For myself, seeing Tyka, Jermaine, and Johnny play those vampires, Ugh. I was like, that was like a real highlight for me yeah. of my life because it would, they were so, you know, that you know that the show is created because of that film. Right. So to see all them together and like the way they, you know, played their characters was super funny, and it was also so funny because they had to say all these lines. They like set it. They'd written it so just in case Robert Patterson did it, just in case Alexander Skarsgård. So you know they had them queuing them up and being like, "Robert, what do you think?" Yes. And like, "Alex," and you know just so had to yeah, pretend. Yeah, of them didn't do it. So yeah, so. <laughs> so funny. And then they had to do it in case Robert said no. So it'd be like, "Robert, the, Robert can't be here today because yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he wants to move away from the vampire franchise." <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, it was so, so good. fun. It was so fun to watch. I'm yeah. so bummed that you guys weren't all there experiencing. No, it, it would together. have been amazing, but no, it was super fun anyway. I also like wonder, like, do you guys get? You must get actual work done, like. But aren't you laughing at each other? Because like you're all so individually funny, and then together, like it's just exponentially there, there funny. Was, there is a lot of there is a lot of that. But you but you need to get the scenes done. Exactly. So it's all that's what it's all about. It's all yeah. about getting something finished, doing as best job as you yeah. can, and then getting on to the next thing. Yeah. But Otherwise, you'll be stuck there for Christmas. Which, yeah. Which I nearly was. Yeah. No, you don't want that. So. Yeah. No. No, but there is, like, you know, in more relaxed moments, when you're in a scene together, you mm-hmm. know, you're all just like, right, we've got to get this done. If I uh, you know, mess this up, that's five people who then have to yeah. start from the beginning. But when it's smaller scenes, like me and Matt, mm-hmm. there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of, like, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Need a minute. Because he's just whispered something in my ear that is unspeakably funny. <laughs> or you can't mention. Yeah. Or just unspeakable. Yeah. yeah. What um, the house, like the mansion that you guys live in, is obviously like insane it's and incredible. amazing. Yeah. yeah. If you could take one thing like out of that set in that house for your own, well, it'd be thing, a room rather take? than one thing. A I, room. Yeah. We got this music room that's in the second, the second series that um, I thought was amazing. It was really. It was incredible. Beautifully built and beautiful had everything I'd want in it. it, had like a drum kit in it, it had guitars in it, it had everything you'd need. And that for me, there was, a f- I've talked about this before, but there was a frog that was a bag, but it had, it was like a, the body of a, and I don't really like taxidermy, but it was okay. so weird because it was a dead frog uh-huh. that had been turned into a purse with a zip, like a modern zip in it. A zip where its belly. What? Where oh, its belly like was. it was like a science I project. think it was hundreds of years. I, I don't think it no, was... No, but it had like a modern sort of like polyester strap. And I was like, oh, did it? who in God's name has made this? I really want it. And you could see its little bum hole. It was... Ah! I, I thought it was that all the time. I thought it was an antique. 
Well, it is. It was a weird combination it's of an like adapted antique, an adapted antique, a modern antique. I think it's probably from H and M. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are the, sh- are the shops available? Frog bags. Yeah. yeah, it was really weird, and, it made, and there was also a dagger that had that at, just at the base of the dagger had two little circles that made it look like something else, which I thought was really funny. Yeah. And I always wanted to play with that, <laughs> but you didn't get to keep either. No, no, you have to respect the set. Yeah. The sets are just so breathtaking. They're really unbelievable. The detail, like you can't even see it on the screen. Like the de- like every corner has books on top of you know knickknacks on top of like you know it's just incredible yeah i'm like a house junkie and i'm sure like every time you are in that space like you're probably seeing something new because there's so much in there like you yeah all the time that there all the time like like, oh look it's a dog's paw where's that from no yeah (laughs) yeah it's incredible well i'm super excited and working with jermaine must be like great wonderful like that brain of his is just well i'd work with him so interesting i worked with him before i mean the reason why i ended up doing this was because we were doing a film three or four years ago, three years ago. Mm-hmm. And um, he mentioned that he was doing this and would I want to do it? And I said yes, because uh, we'd worked, we'd enjoyed working with each other yeah. on this film. Um, but I didn't really think anything would come of it, you know. I just thought it was one of these things, you know, that people say to each sure. other. Sure. You know what I mean? Well, he mentioned that with Tilda Swinton. Like, she said, oh, like, we should do a vampire thing together sometime. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, sure. And then when this came up, he's like, I'm going to call him that favour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> From, I hadn't worked with Jermaine before and I was obviously a, just a huge fan. So, yeah, it's it's so great. And just, like, getting... He's just so down-to-earth and lovely. And, like, to have, you know, you, like, watch someone and admire their work and then you have the same sense of humour. It's like, wow, that's yeah. amazing. And it's, yeah, it's well, really Well, because Kiwis great. have grown up with the same sort of things as we do. You know, they get a lot of British TV. Yeah. So, yeah, he gets, like, so our references. references that we have, yeah, that, you know... British, you know, sort of cultural that he knows because that, you know, they had that pumped in their yeah. house when they were little. I do think when he gives me, like, you know, a suggestion of how to deliver a line or, you know, something I can say, I'm always like, I think you should do it. Because <laughs> there is no one better at playing a vampire yeah. than, than Jermaine as Vladislav. Stu is the first human friend that I've had for a long time. With humans, there is a tendency to die. Yeah. No, so you're funny. all amazing in your own ways. Um, but <laughs> yes, you. he is pretty genius. I saw you looking at this shelf over here. What are you interested in? I just in? wonder why there's a hammer there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, like I mentioned, um, I'm into houses and like repairing houses and fixing houses, oh, right. my husband and I. So, this is supposed to be like representative of like me as a human being. Anxiety being. toolkit. Yeah. Skull with with a plant it on its head. Mm-hmm. To have a hammer like that. A hammer a on hammer. display. Brontosaurus. Some, some that I don't mind so necklaces. much. Explain, explain the skulls. I just like skulls <laughs> and plants, so we put them together. Perfect. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's cool. good to have um, dinosaurs. Explain them. So they're just like the quirky element. Like, let's not take ourselves too seriously here. Dinosaurs. Okay. Do you don't think dinosaurs took themselves very seriously? No. <laughs> you think they're serious? Do you think they're Maybe like sort of, of like pranksters? Yeah. So like this guy looks pretty serious. He's more fun. You know. They all have their own right, there. looks yeah, great. Sure. Yeah, it's great. I, like it. I love it all. Cool. Well, thanks for hanging out, guys. Thank you very awesome. much. <laughs> Good <laughs> on you. Good meeting you. Thank you very much. Sure. We have been invited to our neighbor's superb owl party. Hey, you guys made it. So, uh, how come we never see you guys around here during the regular season? They never seem to be around during the day. It's like they were uh, vampires or something. <laughs> 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 Everything's going to be OAK. OK. A. We are Nadja and Laszlo, the human music group. Laszlo has always been quite musical. She's a superb lyricist. We're feeling horny for love. 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 I've been experimenting with humor to drain energy. The main thing is that we all give 100%, except when it comes to donating blood. (laughs) We're good to go. Let's roll on A and B. Peanut butter is the longest relationship I've ever had. Have you seen this man? (laughs) Jake's got his shirt off a lot. Whoa! We're done. (laughs) Let's get this to go, Cubs. And scene. (laughs) 